Good afternoon. And welcome to St. Jane Francis de Chantel. We especially welcome any guests and visitors who are joining us in prayer today on this 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And we ask that you keep in mind the special intentions for which this Mass is offered, including for the parishioners and also deceased members, friends, and relatives of our parish family, including Edwin Feliciak, Gerald Williams, and Joseph and Maria Kronowski. Please stand and let us begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, <clears throat> and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we prepare to celebrate this sacred liturgy, we are mindful of God's love for us and the same love he calls us to share with each other. Lord, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Lord, you call all people to yourself. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, you are our hope and our salvation. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace to, to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. <coughs> We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. <clears throat> for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, all you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come without paying and without cost, drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, what will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril <clears throat> or the sword? No, in all these things we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptizer, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns and villages. When he disembarked, he saw the vast crowd. His heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowd so they can go into the village and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, there is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all that we have. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowd to sit on the grass, taking the five loaves and two fish and looking up to heaven. He said a blessing broke the loaves, gave it to his disciples, who in turn gave it to the crowd. They all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up the fragments left over, 12 wicker baskets full. Those who ate were about 5,000 men, not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. I have some very good friends that I met when I was an associate pastor at St. Andrew in Rochester, John and Julie and their family. And every year, every other year, I go out to see them, whether for a wedding or baptism or the like, or just to visit with them. 
And one of the first times I went, John and Julie thought it would be nice to give me swimming lessons for a birthday present. I was going to be out there for a week. Let's teach him how to swim. So that week I was there, but they didn't tell me about the swimming lessons till I got off the plane. And I said, I really don't need to do that. I'm a certain age and I don't need to swim. I says, first of all, it's not that I have a fear of water. I have a fear of drowning, which is different. And they said, oh, just, just take them. They'll, she'll teach you how to swim. So the Monday we get there and we go through all this rigmarole, okay? Just can't get it. I just can't get it. I just can't get it. And come Friday, the instructor says, Father, your feet are just too heavy. They're just too heavy. And there is, there is, it's true. Some people have heavier feet and can't swim. She said, but I want you to do something for me. She says, okay, it's Friday. I'm going home tomorrow. All right, what do you want me to do? I want you to climb up on the high dive and dive down into the pool. I said, you've got to be crazy. You've got to be crazy. She said, no. She said, get up there. I said, you know, my other fear is not so much a fear of heights, but a fear of falling. It's different. It's different. She says, go up there. You can overcome both your fears. But I says, it's a long way down. She says, this is what I want you to do. Climb up, to, I think it was like 30, maybe it could have been 90 feet. Could have been 120 feet, whatever. But it was high. Climb up there, get to the end of the board. She says, you're going to dive off the board. You're going to hit the water. You're going to go all the way down to the bottom. Once you feel the, the bottom of the pool, propel per, yourself up, push your feet up, and you'll come to the top and just swim over to the side. Okay? So I go up the ladder, off to the board, right to the end. Jump in. Hit the water, I feel the bottom, I push off the bottom, come up to the top of the water or the pool, swim over, swim over to the side or get over to the side. And she says, you did it. You did it. You can't swim, but you had to do this. You had to do this. Because you would have spent the rest of your days saying, I could have done that. But now that you have done it, you can say, you did it. You did it. Today's gospel, just to give you a little setting, the disciples are with Jesus. This is part of Jesus' public ministry. He's with the disciples and the people. They've been with him. They know Jesus. They know the power that he has. And he calls the twelve. And he says something very important in tonight's gospel. After he tells the disciples, there's no need. There is no need to send these people away. Feed them yourselves. Feed them yourselves. That very statement pushes the disciples into a new realm of ministry. 
They've been with Jesus. They see what he has done. And he says, feed them yourselves. I think many times we get complacent. We're so used to the same routine. And it's, it can be very comfortable. I, I, I'm very comfortable in a certain routine that I have. I'm not saying that's right or wrong. But sometimes in ministry, and sometimes as disciples of the, of the Lord, the Lord asks us to put out into the deep, as John Paul used so often. Put out into the deep. Take the risk. That way you're not living a life of shoulda, coulda, woulda. And if we fail, you pick yourself up and move on. As we celebrate this Eucharist, as we celebrate this day, may we give praise and thanks to God who sometimes nudges us. And many times he will nudge us through other people. But as we celebrate, may we indeed take the risk of faith, knowing that the Lord will indeed, indeed, be with us. And at times I say he does challenge us. And as I've used that, this quote so many times, if you take the risk, the net will follow. If you take the jump, the net will follow. As we celebrate, may we give praise and thanks to God who, like in today's gospel, will feed us. He will nourish us. And then he's going to tell us, feed them yourself. In one voice, we profess our one faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. All things visible and invisible. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Born of the Father, the Father, God from God, life. We place our needs and our petitions and indeed our thanksgivings in the hands of loving Father. God, our Father, guide Pope Francis and your servant church to carry out your mission. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Creator of the universe, instill wisdom, justice, and compassion into civic leaders. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, bread of life, feed our souls and bodies while, with all that we need. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving shepherd, help students, parents, teachers, and school personnel as they plan and prepare for schools to reopen. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful Lord, heal the sick, comfort the dying, and receive the dead into your eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Holy Spirit, graciously accept the prayers of this Mass, 
the intentions in the intercessory <clears throat> prayer box, and the needs in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Gracious and loving God, you know our hearts and our prayers long before we voice them. In your love and in your mercy, may they be granted through you we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May Lord is it with sacrifice from your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, in accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice. Make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For it is in you that we live and move and have our being in one in this body. We not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. And so with all the angels we praise you in joyful celebration we acclaim. <laughs> indeed holy lord the font of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you in need of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, and all those who serve and minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her husband, the blessed apostles, St. Jane Francis, and all your saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we had the courage to say, Our Father. Give to us this day our daily bread. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil grace he grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sin, but in the faith of your church. In grace he grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. prepare to receive the sacrament of the Eucharist. I will lead the people who are watching live stream in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least into my heart as though you have already come I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Behold, Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Jacob's ladder, we are climbing Jacob's ladder, we are climbing Jacob's ladder, soldiers of the cross. Every round goes higher, higher, 
Every round goes higher, higher. Every round goes higher, higher. Soldiers of the cross. If you love him, why not serve him? If you love him, why not serve him? If you love him, why not serve him, soldiers of the cross? We are climbing Jacob's ladder. We are climbing Jacob's ladder. We are climbing Jacob's ladder. Soldiers of the cross. Call us to hear the voices that challenge deep in the hearts of all people by serving your world as lovers and dreamers. We become voices that challenge, for we are the people of God. Voices that challenge the children who long to be heard and respected. Voices that challenge the old and the fearful who hope for a new day. Voices that challenge the prophets and heroes who call us to question. Call us to hear the voices that challenge deep in the heart of all people by serving your world as lovers and dreamers. Come become voices that challenge for we are the voice of God. Call us to hear the voices that challenge deep in the hearts of all people by serving your world as lovers and dreamers. We become voices that challenge for we are the voice of God. Gracious and loving God, you've called us to the one table. You partake of the one bread and the one cup, so as to become the one body of Christ the church. May we become the mysteries we've celebrated. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd like to say it was nice to hear you laugh. Because I haven't heard that lately. Even, even out walking around this and that, people seem to be looking at the ground and not laughing at all. But don't give up your sense of humor. I was in Kroger's the other day. And this woman came, I was in the aisle, and this woman came up to me. And she's pointing on the floor. <laughs> I says, what, what, what? Can't, can't you read? And she went on and on and on and on and on about, we have to go the same direction, this, that, the other thing. And I says, you know, how, you need a cookie. You need a cookie. Well, that, 
busted up the whole laughter. <laughs> To which she said, yeah, I'm taking this a little bit too serious. I said, yes, you are. So we're going to get through it. This is going to be around a while. So get used to it. But don't give up your sense of humor. The Lord be Amen. with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.